right? How smoothly, how friction free is your function in the world? Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny and Jesse. First of all, before we even get to the reaction guys, it's been like one good month. We've not been posting and uh, I've not been posting too. And uh, I think we took a little bit of a break or something like that. Yeah, because we got stuff to do. We have like, uh, I have work, I have uh, school, I have so many responsibilities so yeah um i just want to wish everybody out there happy holidays and to the people who celebrate christmas and uh, uh, uh happy kwanzaa and stuff like that you know all the best and happy holidays to each and everybody out there and merry christmas and a happy new year so right about now we're gonna do another reaction videos i've got a lot of reactions i've got a lot of suggestions from a lot of people they actually wanted um me to react to or they wanted us to react to uh sanguru's videos and uh today we're gonna do you have no idea how much power is in your heels so this is by sanguru so without any further ado first of all i want to thank the people out there who've been able to give us reaction videos you guys are amazing and also we want to thank everybody out there who've been able to take us to eleven thousand five hundred subscribers we are nearly getting to 12,000 subscribers and this is amazing. This is super, super amazing. So, without any further ado guys, let's get it. If I just see how you're sitting, I will tell you in the next 10, 15 years what are the troubles that you're going to face in your life. The geometry of your form invites certain things, you can't help it. We made a very intricate science of how to sit, how to breathe, how to keep your body, how to keep your mind. If you get this geometry right, perception will burst forth. If you learn to hold your body in a certain way, if the geometry of your body is in alignment with the geometry of the rest of the creation, Suddenly you will find there is a rapport, a rapport which will allow you, you can download the whole cosmos into this one. This is not a tiny little, if you simply like this, if you live, you're just a piece of flesh and bone. If you just get it right, suddenly this is something else. Probably these days you don't have this experience, anymore because you've got all Tata Sky, Dishnet and all that stuff. But if suppose you had a, a, a television in your home in 80s when first the Durdarshan came, you are watching your favorite cricket match, suddenly your television was boop boop boop. Then you climb up the terrace and there is one aluminum contraption. If you do like this, nothing will come. If you do like this, nothing will come. You just get it to the right place. Ah, the world pours into your sitting room. This is just like that. If you learn to just hold it right, the whole cosmos will pour into you. Engineering yourself does not mean engineering yourself to breathe little better, to be little more healthy, no. This is about realizing the full potential of what it means to be human. To perform different types of activity in the yogic sciences, we observe that certain types of body positions will support certain activity to its best. Or in other words, what is called as yoga? What is called as yoga is another different thing. What is called as hatha yoga, the physical postures, is it is about manipulating the body in such a way that you get to a certain geometric perfection that your geometry is aligned with the larger geometry of creation so that you are always in sync, you are never off. 
and how balanced you are, how clearly you see things and how well you do things simply depends on how much you are in sync with everything else around you, whether it's people or trees or life or this space, are you in sync with it or not will decide how smoothly, how friction free is your function in the world. Now, uh, I don't sit like this all the time, only when I speak. How I am sitting if I have to explain, there is something called a Siddhasana, that means there are many aspects to it. One simple aspect is the left heel. The left heel is, there is a point on the left heel that today the medical sciences are calling it, calling it as an Achilles. You put your Achilles to what is called as Muladhara or the perineum in your body. If these two things touch, many aspects are cleared out in you for that period of time. Many aspects means your thoughts are clear, your emotions are out and there is a very clear perception of what's happening around you. You heard that Achilles was killed because an arrow was shot to his heel. You don't believe if somebody hurts your heel, you will die, isn't it so? But Achilles died that way. And there's another person who died that way in India, way before him. What this is trying to tell you is they were killed in an expert way, not just slitting your throat or breaking your head, but just putting a point at the Achilles so they had to die. So there is a certain system, energy system in the body, if that point of Achilles is in touch with your muladhara, when you sit like this, there is a certain balance that you don't take any sides. Three, all of us have our own opinions ideas, ideologies, stuff, our own experiences of life. Your own experiences of life and imprints that you have taken in your mind influences everything that you see. You like this person, you don't like this person, you love this person, you hate this person. All this is because you're constantly taking positions of your own. But if you really want to know life, the most important thing is you don't take any position, you're willing to look at everything fresh every moment of your life, absolutely fresh every moment of your life. This is very difficult for people to understand. Tomorrow must be created, not concretized right now. If you manage the geometry of the body well, you must… I'm telling you, right now people, uh, the Western cultures are going about propagating. Yoga is another stretching exercise. Instead of that you can do pilates, instead of that you can do boxing, instead of that you can play tennis. See, if you want to be just fit, go run somewhere, climb a mountain, play tennis, do something. Yoga is not about fitness. Fitness is just one consequence. The important thing is to get the right geometry of life because physical universe is all geometry. Now this building is standing here, whether how long it will stand, whether it will fall on our head today or will it stand for a long time, essentially depends on how geometrically perfect it is. The same goes for the body, the same goes for the planetary system, the same goes for the universe, the same goes for everything. Planet Earth is going around the sun, not with a steel cable attached to it, just perfection of geometry, isn't it? If little off geometry if it happens, it's gone forever. That's true with you also. If you go off your fundamental geometry, you are gone. It's very important in an early age, you do the right things, you bring the right sense of geometry. Now, you become competent to go through life. Those people who are thinking only good things should happen to them, obviously they are unfit for life. Because if you do not know how to go through harsh situations well, joyfully, then you will avoid all possibilities, isn't it? You'll avoid all great possibilities of life simply because you want to avoid a little bit of difficulty. Only when you're geometrically in a certain state of congruence, then you're willing to go through any situation no matter what it is. Yoga is essentially understanding, aligning your system with the cosmic geometry. See, in the yogic system, we see the body as 114 chakras. 72,000 nadis meeting in 114 junctions.
which are called as chakras. Out of these two are outside your body, 112 inside the body. Of these 112, there are four about which you don't have to do anything. They are like that. If other things work, they will flower by themselves. So there are only 108 with which you can work. So 108 has become significant. If you wear any beads, people wear 108 beads. If they say a mantra, 108, because these are the 108 chakras that you need to work with. This 108 number is significant and you will see it in the East. Everything is 108 because the, the diameter of the sun and the distance between the earth and the sun is 108 times. The diameter of the moon and the distance between the moon and the earth is 108 times. The diameter of the earth and the diameter of the sun is 108 times. And in this body, there are 108 chakras that you can work upon. So the cosmic geometry, I can go into a lot of arithmetic which will match with your human system. And these things we have been conscious of and that is how we came up with 84 basic asanas. Out of these 84, if you do 21 of them properly and you just master one, your system will get aligned with the cosmic system. Once it's aligned, everything that you need to know about the cosmos is right here. Wow, that was amazing, guys. That was amazing. Um, what, I, uh, what I really like about Sangu is that he actually just gives you the basic, um, not even basic, he just like demystifies what life is and tries to explain it to you in a, in a what? Like in a, in a layman's language. And he tries to fuse in um, nature and... Um, the cosmic energy and whatnot. I mean, that's really, really amazing. I mean, not everybody will want to tell you such kind of things. You understand? But um, I believe that what he was saying is actually uh, true. Because um, just when you look at other, other, other what, other topic. So if you look at the title, you have no idea how much powerful is in your heels or something like that. I mean, we are powerful beings, but I think we fail to understand ourselves or maybe we fail to realize what we are in the actual sense you get it maybe other people need to go within to find out who they really are most of the people need to do some few things other people need to find who god is other people need to get into religion um, uh, certain religions to find out um, how powerful they are but in this sense here was talking about you can align yourself geometrically with the earth or maybe with nature or maybe with cosmic energy which is uh, sort of true because I believe that he talked about the chakras that we have in our bodies is like one uh, 100 and something chakras and if you just uh, find one chakra and then you just find and then you just may probably practice that one particular one and then uh, eventually you're gonna find the alignment you're gonna find um, your, 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 your space or maybe you're going to find your alignment with the cosmic uh, world or something like that which is really really amazing and um, <clears throat> yeah it's all about balance and it's all about alignment I think it's really important people should, should um, try and find out what uh, these things are probably uh, some people might not want to look into it, but again, I, I think as, as we live in this world today uh, Let us not take anything for granted. If you come across something try to learn take one or two things You feel like they will help you in life. You see for example, I believe in the truth If I go to Christianity, I'll pick one or two things that I believe this is truth I'll go to Muslim or Islam and I pick one or two things and I believe this is the truth and uh, I go to Buddhism and I pick one or two things and uh, uh, that makes me feel like this is the truth uh, the truth about the ideology of, of, of the thing that is happening around 
and uh, you live life like that you get it i mean it's it's just amazing to live in this world today where there's so many things happening around but again you can have the you, you have a choice to actually choose what you really want or you can have a choice of just looking at each and every thing and deciding which one to pick and which one not to pick it's just like uh the good and evil i mean you know what bad is and you know what good is but again it depends on your perspective there are other people who feel like whatever i'm doing is right or when you look at your perspective you feel that whatever is doing is wrong so i feel like um what is being said in here he's just like uh a demystification of uh, what you can find out there in the cosmic energy like you can just go out there find your alignment find your 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 true self and probably do yoga meditate pray and you find yourself when you practice one thing you will actually find that alignment that you've always been looking for anyway guys thank you so much this has been really really amazing this has been really 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 amazing and one other thing the people out there have been telling me to react on this one right here you guys are amazing and if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you want us to react to and also don't forget to um subscribe to our channel guys the more you keep us subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better better content and if you have any kind of reaction just go down on the comment section below and let us know exactly what you want us to react to and we're gonna do it for you any kind of reaction guys we do any kind of reaction just let us know in the comment section below and uh, the most important thing guys and yes yeah, so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video and peace out